MTCK physics, uh, the topic is density and the objective of this experiment is to determine the density of an irregular solid. I have with me a pebble, a piece of rock, and would like to determine the density of this piece of rock. So two things I'm going to do. Number one is to determine its mass. I will use an electronic balance for that purpose. And number two is to determine its volume and I will use the displacement method by displacing water in a measuring cylinder. So let me start off by ensuring that the reading on my electronic balance is zero at the beginning and then I will place this on the pan and wait till the reading is over and the reading it gives me is 40.04 grams. So we know the mass is 40.04 grams. And then the next task I have is to determine its uh, volume. And I will do that by pouring some water into a measuring cylinder. I'll pour it to any level. So let me have it to a point like that where it will be able to fully submerge the solid. And of course, when reading the measuring cylinder, uh, the volume there I will keep my eye level with the lower end of the meniscus and this gives me 210, 20, 30, 240 cubic centimeters. So the initial volume without any solid in there is 240 cubic centimeters. I will take a thin string and tie my solid here so that I'm able to carefully submerge it, immerse, immerse it fully in the liquid. And when I immerse it in the liquid carefully, ensuring that it's fully immersed, I will check the new volume. The new volume that I get is 255. 255 cubic centimeters is the new volume. Then I can go ahead and say the volume of the solid should be equal to the volume finally minus the volume initially. 255 minus 240 gives me 15 cubic centimeters then it's possible for me to go right ahead and use the formula density equals to mass over volume to be able to calculate the volume. In this case, I will say the mass that I was given here at the beginning divide by the volume that I've gotten there, 15 cubic centimeters. If you put that into your calculator, you'll be able to find the, mass, the density in grams per cubic centimeter. Uh, you might want to ask yourself what precaution I have taken in this case. Number one, I've ensured that the measuring cylinder is on a firm, flat, horizontal surface. That's number one. Number two, I've used a thin string because if I use a very thick string, then it's likely to displace some water and that therefore will contribute to the errors in my experiment. Those are the precautions I've taken. For the case of the electronic balance, I've ensured at the beginning it's reading zero so that I don't have any kind of particles on the surface contributing to the mass that I'm measuring here. Thank you.